Welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. Today we're working on a charity quilt. This is one uh, that one of my guild members, actually I think it's probably one of the founding members of our guild, uh, Myrtle, and she did this up and asked me if I'd quilt it up before Christmas and I said sure no problem. So uh, it has actually two different size borders on it. It's got a nice thin one on the side and a thicker one at the top. And at the thicker one at the top it just kind of put like a little swirl with a clover and then and kept it off to the other side. I'll probably just do a little ribbon candy in the medium sized one here, or the smaller size border there, just to kind of even it out. I wanted to put something on the borders. I didn't want to just leave them plain. And she said something very um, easy and neutral, and I just love the colors, but I really love the pattern of the block is my favorite. So let's let Walt continue here. Mm -hmm. There we go. So I wonder who's gonna start or not. <laughs> It is, it starts out looking like a pinwheel, normal pinwheel, and then it comes up on these beautiful mitered corners. Like, and they are beautiful. These corners are gorgeous. So you can tell this is an experienced quilter. She knows what she's doing and she knows how to get there. <laughs> Um, and when it comes to the charity quilts here, I quilt them up for free via the quilt shop because it's I'm trying to give as much as I can as well where I can. I don't always have a lot of money, so I try to give where I can and doing the quilting and donating the thread is one of them. I, the only thing I ask is that they pay for the batting. So, and then um, there is some uh, beautiful pink um, binding that came along with this project and I will finish it off as well. So I, I'll feel like I've done my part, they've done their part, collaborate together, make a beautiful project. So what this is stitching out, you probably can't even see it because I chose a white thread to go on this beautiful project, is actually it's got uh, a lovely bird, it's actually forming out the bird right now. Then right here it had stitched out a lovely flower and another flower. I just thought it went really nice with the fabric that was chosen to make this um, beautiful project. And I mean, if I was in need of a quilt, I'd love to have this one. It is gorgeous. Very, very pretty. Anyways, beautiful fabrics, beautiful fabrics. And it was, and then the back is got a nice big strip down the center and then pieced on either side with a big border. So my goal was to get the center of this top quilt into the center of the back as much as I could. Even though normally I would do things more on the lengthwise or the widest part being here across the long arm than uh, the narrower parts, depending on how the quilt sits. Uh, I have to put it this way sometimes to make sure that the stitch out is going to go appropriate. Like this, the birds are this way, you wouldn't want them going up and down if you didn't, you know, that's not what you wanted. So I have them going across, back and forth across the, uh, the quilt top. And try to center it out as much as I can to make sure that when the trimming and the binding gets done, it looks like there's equal portions of the blue on either side. So. And I just love the lovely, uh, beautiful, just white with a uh, blue, pink, and yellow flower. And it just brings a whole bunch of colors into it. Obviously brings out the colors at the front. But I really like the block. I thought, when I looked at it, at first I thought, oh, that's pretty. And then I was like, wait a second here. Those are some serious mitered corners. Like, wow. So I don't know if there's an exact name for this block, then please tell me in the comments below because I'm not exactly sure. I, right now I'm just calling it the mitered pinwheel block. So, but it is absolutely beautiful. And I like how there's like a secondary pattern. There's like this beautiful little, like almost little cross here that comes together. Same here, it's like a beautiful little cross. And then you have this pinwheel. I don't know, just it's, you see so many 
uh, pattern pop-ups when it comes out to uh, like the, the quilt pattern or quilt block pattern as, in the, as well as the material used to accent it, right? So we're just working with three colors here, the pink, the white, and the blue. I think it would be stunning in a black and white and red or black and white and teal or something like that. Beautiful, beautiful. So this pattern is gonna stitch out six times. I think it's done one, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think this is the third one. So we're just slowly working our way down. It's about 80 inches or just over 80 inches by 60 inches. And that's a great size for a charity quilt for sure. For any size quilt, really, not even just saying for charity, but if you wanted to make one, collaborate with a friend, um, we could use a certain uh, project to be able to give away at this time of year. So, you know, if you need something like that, collaborate with a couple of buddies, put your fabric stash together, some will make the top. Maybe if you have a local long armor that's willing to donate a little bit of time or something like that, you can always ask them. It doesn't, doesn't hurt to ask. You'd be very surprised how many you're giving. Everybody's giving. Doesn't hurt to ask. But I know the girls of my guild know that I will definitely be doing it for charity. And if somebody were to have send me a quilt top, I do it obviously up for charity as well. I'm not gonna send them the bill. <laughs> That's not very nice. <laughs> Thanks for the donated quilt top, here's your bill. <laughs> and I think this lovely uh, pink binding is gonna look so nice next to that, all the way around. And it's gonna pick up some beautiful colors from the back as well. And what I'll do is I'll machine that to the back and then machine it again to the front. And I try to pull it so it just stitches next to, like you're stitching on the back of the, like the, your backing fabric, not on the edge of the binding. It's just, and it, it's fine, it looks fine. Especially if you want it for lots of washes and wears and stuff, yeah, definitely. So pretty. Yeah, and like I said here in this blue, I will just do a little ribbon candy. Just probably make my way down it, um, free motion style. Just gotta get from A to Z, right? I'm gonna get in the way if I leave that there. Beautiful. Yeah, a couple of little flowers uh, and then the beautiful bird. So it's like a bit folk arty. I didn't really want to take anything away from the quilt top itself. Like I don't really want to do that. I just want to help accent it. And I think just something some, you know, movement, you can see once on an angle that it's a bird with some flowers. Uh, I don't know if you can get that from the, the overall camera. Mm -hmm. Pretty fabric. I really like the, the white and the pink here. And that is Walt Dunn, his row. Okay. And I'm just going to finish off the rest of them and then, like I say, finish off the borders and then as I checked off my list of things I needed to get done. <laughs> so thank you everybody for watching, liking, and subscribing. We greatly appreciate you here at the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and sub if you haven't subbed before. We appreciate it. And if you have any questions, just leave them down below. We're happy to answer them. Okay. Take care, everybody. Enjoy the day. We'll see you on the weekend where we're going to be uh, working on a rag quilt project. Okay. Big hugs, everybody. Take care.